Bopas won the West and, and keep CBB Inc. away from their games? Probably not. They don't. They they wanna they wanna die for the message. Okay, CBB Inc. has killed a lot of games. Uh, you know, and. It seems that, you know, it's kind of like the Joker and Aka, no, not Arkham Knight, uh, but the Dark Knight, I, can, I said Arkham Knight, <laughs> but the Dark Knight, what he says, it's not about the message, you know, it's, it's a, it's, it's not about the money, it's about the message, that's basically what these game developers keep doing, and it seems that they're gonna realize this before it's too late, no one is buying the Suicide Squad game. So this is the sales compared to two other games, apparently, that this game is not selling. Gotham Knights, which didn't really sell all too well, 43% wars and 61% wars with Guide to the Galaxy. Also, Gotham Knights is also another Sweet Baby Inc. game. Okay, and this is based off of both physical and digital sales, so that can say, oh yeah, it's because of physical media dying. Well, both physical and digital games are not selling. For Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Well, you can always tell that by the player count of the game. Like, no one's playing it. Like, absolutely zero people are playing it. Okay. The game plays 12. For all of the month. In its first five weeks. For physical and digital sales. For the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I wasn't too excited for this game either way. But. No one bought this game. Okay. For example, Guardians of the Galaxy sold 8 million copies. So that's 61% down from that in its first 6 weeks. Okay, that is 61% down from it. Yeah. The game, you know, before that is more fake. The game I second, it was bested by FIFA 23 and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Of course, Steve starts at 23,000. Concurrent players. Guys of the Galaxy had eight nine thousand players at its all time peak. Guys of the Galaxy game is kind of forgotten, but this game no one's gonna be playing it. Okay, Component that sales is likely much worse than both Gotham Knights and Guys of the Galaxy. So I can hear Warbuzz comments about the games for the understatement. And this is compared to the last year, well, Hogwarts Legacy was selling. Console selling copies, selling, you know, on Steam greatly. Okay, and Barbie did pretty well. But it seems that Suicide Squad, Warner Bros. games, it just seems that they were a failure. Had an all time high of 13,000 players, but quickly fell off on the rest of the thousand people playing the game. And Sweet Baby Inc. This is what, this is what happens when you have a Sweet Baby Inc. develop your games. Or I think CB Inc. is like a partner. They have like I probably bet some people who uh, who work with CB Inc. do help with the game development as well. But yeah, here's a lesson to be warned: Stop allowing CB Inc. to develop your games. Okay, it's a simple question that could be have a simple answer. Get rid of CB Inc. and problem solved. Okay, this is a developer that. Kills games. This is the EA of modern day, but it seems that these game developers say Sweet Baby Inc. is the bestest developer ever because they support inclusivity. Oh, yeah. Sales would matter more than inclusivity, than diversity, than all this, all these buzzwords to keep these, this imaginary modern audience happy. These people who don't buy games, who do not engage with the culture, yeah, these are the people who you are making happy. And they're not buying the game anyway. You're alienating your core audience. And you are appeasing a group of people who don't care about your games. Who are not going to buy it either way. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.